What up, friends and fam? Hey, guys, check it out. Brand new equipment, brand new show. Hey, now if you guys uh, are listening to me right now, you can actually go watch me on Spotify or you can watch me on YouTube on my uh, channel over there, which is every day is a Saturday. All you got to do is subscribe and you'll be able to check out the videos. That's completely free, guys. Doesn't cost a thing. So if you're interested in watching the show and looking at my... Uh, little beautiful face <laughs> uh you guys can check it out right here if not and you like to hear it on audio you'll still be able to what it's going to do is disperse the video and the audio and if you're listening to me on whatever platform you're listening to me you'll still be able to listen to me this is a complete test though to see if this works if not we'll just go ahead and probably stick it out with the audio side i don't know if i really want to do two different shows um but we'll see where it all goes from there um we're gonna do this on the throwback thursdays i think it's a perfect show to do this on um it's kind of usually real chill if you guys are familiar with the 1950s this is a good show and if you're not hey why don't you learn about the 1950s because you know what you gotta appreciate all the the years that came before us and you know they've gotten to us to where we are today so without further ado let's go ahead and get into two days the throwback thursdays let's do the 50s all right guys we're gonna go ahead and start right off with our toys that uh were from the 1950s some of you guys are going to be familiar with these you know what's nice about doing this is i can just drink and and hopefully you guys feel comfortable just chilling and drinking and hanging out but all right play-doh definitely had some play-doh when i was a kid but very popular in the 1950s silly putty magic eight ball frisbee slinky pogo stick hula hoop the basket miniature basketball spell it fisher price little people photo electric baseball matchbox cars Corn popper, sharpshooter, target practice game, feed the feed the elephant, space pilot, pigeon pal action game, electric football, color forms, toy guns and western clothing, miniature piano, accordion, portable phonograph player, a toy drum, Roy Roger plastic figures, circus sets. Viewmaster, Dolls, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head, definitely remember them when I was a kid. Woodblocks, remember those two? They were kind of like weapons. <laughs> uh, spinning Tops, Toy Trains, Barbie, which uh, Barbie's still pretty popular. Actually, they're coming out with a new Barbie uh, movie, and of course, you know, being my wife, she was a barbie fan we'll be checking that movie out uh doll houses and farm toys and equipment and animals i do remember having those too those were pretty fun all right guys let's move on to the songs now again not gonna probably know all of these songs but i am familiar with some of them i noticed on this list as i was going through it they don't provide always who the artist was so if you remember who sang the song hey in your head or out loud say it let's hear it <laughs> all i have to do is dream hound dog by elvis presley mr sandman walking after midnight patsy klein leatherneck jamboree the ever the everly brothers sincerely chris phyllis dotty that's a more Dean Martin songs. At the Hop, Black Sax and Bobby Sox. Whole lot of shaking going. Jerry Lee Lewis. Jailhouse Rock, that's Elvis Presley. Only You, The Platters. A Teenage in Love, presenting. Tequila, Go Champs Go. How High the Moon, The Hitmakers. La Bamba. The Great Pretender, I Only Have Eyes for You, Flamingo Serenade, 
in the still of the night. Don't be cruel, Elvis Presley. Wake up, little Susie. Come go with me. With the Dell Vikings. My prayer, the platters. Tutti Fruity, here's little Richard. Money, honey, Clyde McFlatter and the Drifters. All shook up, loving you. All right, so that was, um, there's quite a few other popular songs, I'm sure, um, that I missed that you guys probably are very familiar with. But uh, that was the top ones that I went through. Now, because, you know, and I know in some of the throwbacks we've done, the 80s and the 90s so far, Hate me for saying this, some of you maybe, but I think cars weren't uh, as grand back then. But I do think back in the early days, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, we got to bring back and talk about some of the cars back then because they definitely had some pretty badass cars, no doubt. All right, so let's go ahead and take it back through some of the classics that were back then. And we're just, we're not going to go through all of them. We're just going to maybe go through a good, I don't know, top 10 or so. Let's see. The 1957 Ford Thunderbird. That is a nice looking vehicle, I can lie. 1950 Jaguar XK150. 1959 MGA 1500. Oh, she's a beauty, man. And if you guys are watching this uh, on, you know, on YouTube or whatever it is, I'm going to try to provide you guys some pictures so you guys are going to get a little bit more of a look on things that i get to see that's kind of the nice thing about doing this now on video is not only can i talk about it but i can show you guys as well the 1959 aston martin db4 gt zagato all right man these cars are oh yeah this one a lot of people this is a pretty popular car 1955 chevy Bel Air. she's a looker the 1955 Porsche 550 Spider. Now, I'm telling you, going through this list and looking at these vehicles, I mean, you can't beat the cars that they used to have back in the day. Absolutely no way. These cars, by far, uh, classics. I mean, pure classics. And we don't make them like that anymore. I mean, the cars now you get day, they all got chips in them and stuff like that. Drive on their own. <laughs> Got to charge them. Uh, not the way these cars used to be, man. S some beauties. But those were uh, some of the good old classics in the 50s. Um, some beautiful classic cars. I know, you know, sometimes we don't ever go back and appreciate some of that stuff. But, hey, they still have some really cool classic car shows and stuff like that. Go ahead, go sit there and check them out, man, and admire some of the, how beautiful those cars were back then. Some of the best. All right, what else we got? So let's go and check out movies. We all like movies, so go ahead and see what we got here. Well, we may not be checking out movies just yet, so all right, here we are. All right, let's see. Probably not going to notice, mo you know, some of these movies right here. I don't know if um, I don't know if I'll even know them because I'm wasn't a person into older movies and stuff like that so i thought i had this whole thing all set up but of course you know good old technology anyways we're going to take a sip of our coffee at this moment hope you guys are all having a great day hope uh you know it's not uh you know kicking your ass or nothing all right don't know these movies. But number one, Ikaru in 1952. Rear Window, 1954. Seven Samurai, 1954. North by Northwest. It's an Alfred Hitchcock movie, 1959. The Night of the Hunter, 1955. Rush Twelve Angry Men. Now I have heard that there's definitely been some um, movies they've remade that a couple times. Uh, Paths of Glory, 1957. The Wages of Fear, 
1953. Vertigo, 1958. Touch of Evil, 1958. The 400 Blows, hmm, 1959. Sunset Boulevard, 1950. Wild Strawberries, 1957. The Seventh Seal, 1957. All right, that was 15. We'll go ahead and stop there. Um, I'm, I'm really, like I said, I didn't know most of those movies. I don't know about you guys. Definitely did not recall any of those movies. What about you guys? Let us know. All right, now we're going to go ahead and get a little bit into the fashion back then. Um, definitely, they were into some, I would say, I would call these like some foofy looking dresses and... Um, hate to say this out loud but it kind of looks like they're a little bit uh like some curtains that you would put up in your house uh just the patterns and how uh they were made but uh they were way more into fashion and and making sure that uh they left their house tip-top shape now i do have my grandmother um who you know she's from around the time frame and she always you know wants to look top notch you know always making sure her hair was done a certain way and made sure she, her makeup was on and all those things so um i know back then the ladies were a lot into uh you know the fashion now the guys they were a lot into the wearing um levi's the 501s um a lot of t-shirts and um Kind of the greaser stage and stuff like that but uh definitely not as many people uh appreciating that dress style anymore i don't know um i feel like nowadays people are starting to dress like uh if i was to like say any genre a lot of people are starting to dress like more like the 90s tell me no i don't know maybe i'm wrong but um that's kind of what i thought but hey guys, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is kind of a quick one, I know. Um, I blew right through it because this is all a test. I don't even know if it's gonna work. I didn't wanna invest too much time into this, but this is, if this works out well, this is gonna be the new future show. You guys can see it on me in person and I can show you guys thing in person and, or you guys, like I said, if you, um, just driving in your car you want to listen, you're going to be able to listen. Um, I'm not going to change the show and its dynamics. It's just going to be different in the manner that you'll be able to see things versus just hear it. So hope you guys are enjoying it. I really appreciate all the love and support that I have gotten up to this point. It's really gotten me to where I'm at, getting new equipment, being able to do what I want to do. And it's putting me in touch with some really cool people. You guys are going to be hearing some awesome interviews that are getting ready to come. Uh, we actually have an active uh, staff sergeant who was a drill instructor, has great stories. Also, he has some great information on how training is today, at least from a Marine's uh, perspective. So you could appreciate that, especially if you're a Marine. Um, also, after that, we have another uh, sergeant who, oh, sorry, he went. He's a staff sergeant. Um, got out, went National Guard. He's gonna. Um, he's got some great stories as well as great adventures. Then uh, later on, we're gonna do a, a retired gunnery sergeant who is now a streamer and he's you know gaming and we're gonna get to hear his story and all that stuff. So. We have some really great stuff in store and in the future. And like I said, as time goes on, I'm only trying to get better. We're going to make this show is the best as I possibly can. Um, things always cost money to make it the best you can, but I'm going to try and uh, do the best I can. All right. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. I really, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Until next time, every day's a Saturday with Brian Roof.